So I got requested to use the Mac 10 again, but this time I focused a little less on recoil control. Still got some recoil control on it because you have to. Let's be honest. The Mac 10 has a crazy recoil pattern without good attachments. So it makes sense that I would have a, a, a few, one or two attachments targeting recoil control. But it's not like it's, uh, how I say, the best long range choice. Jesus Christ, brother. Get up to deal with a lot of belly floppers today. A lot of belly floppers today. Seems like a toxic lobby. I'm hearing marshals everywhere. All right, I'm kind of frying though, low key. That's gonna be a spawn flip for sure. Let's hit the outer here, throw this over. All right, should be able to sneak through. Yep. Good shot. Like, actually, that was a good shot. He hit me with the quick scope. Jeez. We got a lot going on here. Some, some riveting gameplay, if I must say so myself. This guy dead? Nope. I hear him underground. I think. That's tragic timing. Oh, we're just walk. Well, again, I've talked about this a lot. If I just walked around like this, would you think you guys would be entertained? Just walk around holding my ADS button. I don't think you would be entertained, but just had to ask because it seems like that seems to be a pretty common trend at the moment. Thanks for coming. Oh, he shouldn't have missed. Anybody else here? That's a yes. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm feeling it. Let's get this in. Good kill. Oh, we're turning right around right now. We got to get here quick. Oh, they're all there. Hold the phone. They're all here. Guy in the back. Uh, I'm kind of out of bullets. Hold the phone. We got a guy over here. He's running. I still got a problem. I got to get bullets. Again, this potato gamer is hitting me with the quick scope. Jeez. Put me on a t-shirt, man. Put me in his phase montage. Hit me with the slides. Hit me with the quick scopes. It's just unfortunate. Ran out of ammo. Sounds like we got a toxic gamer in the lobby. Oh, buddy, oh, pal, fuzzy Adrian, what are we doing? Oh, I just want to smack you on the butt cheeks, pal. That's insane. That's insane. We're playing in corners, really? Oh, I want to pick that sniper up, kind of. Anything happening up here? Nope. Nothing happening up here. Teammates are kind of running, running amok. Teammates are kind of running amok here. I need 15. Anybody? No, they're underground.
I do have a sniper. Yeah, not that it's that valuable at the moment. They're all underground. Cheese and rice, Batman. Hello? Hello? I need 10 kills. They're all underground though. I might have to hit that route. Ah, uh, I might have to hit that route. I might have to clear them out of underground because I'm losing the kills here. I need four. There's 12 kills left. It's possible. There's definitely one guy camping underground. Yeah, he's camping under there. There's not much I can do. All right, we're just going to go for it here. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. Got to. Okay, here's another one. I need one kill. We need one. That's all I'm asking for is one. I might go for the guy in the ground, but I'm afraid it's going to take too much time. No matter. We got it. Definitely underground. Whole lot of them underground. Let's do it. Let's hit the flank. I don't know how much time's left, but. Not today. One kill. Here we go. There we go. That's 52 kills. Nothing like a like some campers getting the, the shmeat right on their forehead. Okay, so let's quickly jump through these attachments here. Like I stated in the beginning of the video, uh, I targeted recoil control because you just have to, but I also took a more aggressive approach, meaning there's not attachments that are simply going to slow you down on the map. So our first attachment here is the infantry compensator, taking care of some vertical recoil control. Obviously that is necessary. It's gonna give you 12% there. The barrel I am going with the reinforced. You're gonna to have to increase both the bullet velocity and damage range on this weapon. In order to make it more viable, it's easier to hit your medium range fights with this kind of attachment. For the underbarrel, I'm going with the f -spot speed grip here because we're getting both vertical and horizontal recoil control, but also sprint moving speed, meaning we can get around the map just a little quicker, get up close and personal with people. For our magazine, I'm going with the normal fast mag. At the end of the day, it is a preference and most of these attachments are usable you can really use whatever you want and our last attachment here to speed up our aggression even further is going to be the raider stock giving you the 30 percent increase there to sprint to fire speed along with 10 percent to the aim walking speed so pretty quick jumping through these attachments here but there's not much to talk about the mac 10 is a very aggressive choice and you need attachments like this one in order to make it an absolute monster on the map so copy these down if you guys want to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next one